Jeff Foxworthy, and welcome to Pet Week on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? All right, kids, are you ready to meet your new classmates? He's a 29-year-old server who attended St. Patrick's Elementary. Please welcome Parker Delon and his six-year-old Euromatrix, Reggie. How's it going? Parker, how are you? Good, how are you? Welcome to the show. Thank you. <laughs> this is Reggie. Now, Reggie, did I pronounce that right? Euro, yes. Euro, Euromastrix? Euro, Euromastix. That's what exactly what I said, a Euromastix. <laughs> but when you originally got her, you thought it was a him, though, yeah. right? What, what made you change your mind? Uh, after she laid 11 eggs right in front of my face. <laughs> <laughs> that would do it. Yeah. Now, now, what are they native to? Um, Mali, the Republic of uh, Mali in Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Now, did the eggs actually hatch, or? No, they were unfertilized, so it was kind of an immaculate conception. Do you think that'll ever happen again, or? Uh, I think she's actually pregnant now. Oh, really? She's really fat. Look at her, how fat yeah. she is. Well, you know? I didn't want to say anything. She's a girl. You I never, know. You know. I you know. know. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Yeah, I mean, you you don't, like yeah don't ever say that to a girl. <laughs> it's nay on the at fay, but, uh, <laughs> well, welcome to the classroom. Thank you. Picture of you growing up, good student? Uh, I was, I was an average student. I was more of a, the class clown. You know, I, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, I really. Yeah. I'm, I, yeah. I can sympathize with that. <laughs> Why get the right answer when you can get a laugh? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome. I've got some help for you today in the form of some very smart fifth graders. Let me introduce them. We've got Jordan, Danielle, and Ty. All right, Parker, pick one of them. Let's start our game. Danielle. Let's go. Grab the lizard for good luck. I'll say, I'm impressed you're not scared to touch it. Of course not, of course not. All right, let me tell you how you're gonna take home a lot of money today, Parker. You're gonna take a test with us. Eight subjects, first grade through the fourth grade. First grade answers are worth $500. Fourth grade answers are worth $7,500. You get all those right, you'll have $25,000. The fifth grade bonus question multiplies your winnings by 10. You could leave us with $250,000. We could get Reggie a husband with $250,000. All right, you ready to do it? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's find out. Is Parker DeLon smarter than a fifth grader? All right, Parker, let's get started. Pick your first subject. What are you good at? English? First grade English. First grade English. For $500, here's the question. What word comes first alphabetically in the following phrase? Declaration of Independence. What word comes first alphabetically in the phrase Declaration of Independence? Danielle has locked in her answer. Um, I'm gonna say Declaration. Let's lock that in. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that trick. Are you serious? No. <laughs> <laughs> of course it's declaration, you got $500. God. You should have seen your face, that was so good. Priceless. Oh, all right, Parker, what would you like next? Measurements! Measurements! Okay, let's do measurements. Measurements? Yeah. We gotta do them all eventually. <laughs> Correct answer can add $1,000 to your total. Here is the question. Which of the following is the longest amount of time? One-tenth of an hour, eight minutes, 900 seconds. Which of the following is the longest amount of time? One-tenth of an hour, eight minutes, or 900 seconds? All right, Danielle has locked in her answer. One-tenth, God, you know how long ago this was? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh You Lord. can ask Reggie if you'd I like. Know, Reggie, you know that? <laughs> oh, she's not even paying attention. I'm gonna go with <sighs> one tenth of an hour. Lock it in. Okay. <laughs> 
60 minutes in an hour. So if we divide that by 10, we get six. Oh, geez. Okay, well. Six is less than eight minutes. Yes. 900 seconds, there's 60 seconds in a minute. So 900 divided by uh. 60 is 15 minutes. Yeah. So actually the correct answer is 900 seconds. It's 15 minutes. But we only gave back $500. You're gonna miss one, that's the time to do it early on. Still 23,500 on the board. Parker, pick another subject. Third grade world geography. Third grade world geography. Yes. For $3,500, the question is, the name of what Latin American country means rich coast in Spanish? The name of what Latin American country means rich coast in Spanish? Danielle has locked in her answer. Uh, rich coast, I'm gonna go with, I believe it might be Costa Rica. Lock that in. Lock it in, Costa Rica. Parker, would it make you feel any better if I told you Danielle also said Costa Rica? Woo, uh, maybe I'll feel a lot better. I hope she All says. right, then I'll tell you. Danielle also said Costa Rica. Yes. Oh, well. You're both right. It is yes. Costa Rica. You got $3,500. Yes. yes. Don't go away, we'll be right back right after this. Welcome back, it is Pet Lovers Week on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Parker DeLon is our contestant and he's got his six-year-old lizard, Reggie, with us. And we're thinking Reggie might be pregnant or either she needs to say no to the donuts. Got a little, <laughs> got something going on there. Look at this, you got $3,500. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. You got both your cheeks left. Now, Danielle had to return to the classroom. You need to pick another classmate. Jordan. Jordan, come on up. Let's do it. Would you like to uh, touch the lizard? Oh. No. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> All right, well, let's keep adding to your winnings. You got 3,500. I still got 20,000 on the board. Parker, what would you like? Fourth grade math. Fourth grade math, all the way to the top. For $7,500, here's the question. Multiplying what decimal by 0 0.1 will give you a product of 0 0.034? Multiplying what decimal by 0 0.1 will give you a product of 0 0.034? Okay, Jordan has locked in his answer. Math is definitely not my cup of tea. You know, um, just gonna have to, I did this a little when I was in school. You know, um, don't tell anybody though, but I'm gonna have to take a peek. You take a peek. Yeah. All right, you want to take a peek. <laughs> Multiplying what decimal by 0 0.1 will give you a product of 0 0.034. Take a look at the board. Your fifth grade classmate Jordan said, 0 0.034. You know, I was thinking that, and I'm not good at math. I didn't want to second guess myself. Um, I'm going to go with what Jordan said. I have Reggie lock it in. Reggie just locked in. <laughs> 0 0.034. Please tell me good news. I wish I could, but this is the deal with decimals. Oh. If you multiplied 1.0 by 0 0.034, you would get that number. But with a decimal moved over, you multiply 0 0.1 times 0 0.34 to equal 0 0.034. So we were off one decimal point there. It is okay. We still got 12,500 on the board. We can turn that into really 125,000. Huh? It's really red in here all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, red happens when we miss one. Let's yeah. not miss anymore. Oh. Let's make it green like money. Are you history? Earth no. Science. No? Okay. Earth science? Earth science. Yeah. Uh, third grade science. Third grade science, okay. 
Let's get back on the winning side of the board. Okay. For $3,500, the third grade question is this. True or false, all atoms are the same size. True or false, all atoms are the same size. Jordan's locked in his answer. What you thinking? I'm thinking true. Uh, I'm pretty confident in that answer. I think it's true. Locking in true. So if you believe all atoms are the same size, do you believe all eaves are the same size? <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> you think it's true. Ty, you haven't been up here yet. What did you say? False. Oh. False. Yeah, unfortunately, all atoms are not the same size, so the correct answer is false. There's our red light again. Still got $9,000. Don't go away. We're going to try to turn this into $90,000 right after this. Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? It's Pet Lovers Week, and Parker DeLon is our contestant with his lizard Reggie hanging on to his shoulder there. You got zero. I know. You got those infertile legs like Reggie had. <laughs> We gotta get rid of the eggs. Oh my goodness. We want cash where the egg is at. Yes. Let's win some money. We got three subjects up there, first, second, and fourth grade. What would you like? Earth science. Earth science. Okay, second grade earth science. Second grade earth science is worth $1,000. The question is this. True or false, when the weather is humid, the air is holding more water vapor than when it's not humid. True or false, when the weather is humid, the air is holding more water vapor than when it's not humid. Jordan has locked in his answer. You're smiling. <laughs> because, well, I'm from the Midwest and it gets pretty humid. Like, you know, you take a shower, you come outside, it's psh, And you're like, why did I take pits, a shower? Yeah. Everything, it's ridiculous. So I'm going to say that is true. Lock it. <laughs> Reggie, what did you think about that? <laughs> Reggie looks excited. It's kind of hard to tell when Reggie's excited. <laughs> Think she looks excited. And you ought to be excited, Reggie, because the lizard egg is gone. You got a thousand dollars. You're absolutely right. Jordan has to return to the class. Ty, come on up here. Hey, Reggie. <laughs> what up, buddy? Hello, Lizard Lock. Yes. Lizard Lock. She she feels cool, doesn't she? She's, she feels she's, like uh, a rubber ball. Yeah, she, a squishy rubber yeah, ball. Yeah, she kind of does. Yeah. All right, Ty is up here with us now, Parker. We've got two questions remaining, $8,000 on the board. What would you like? U.S. history. U.S. history? Yeah. Yeah, fourth grade history. We've got to do them both anyway. Yeah, I know, right? Fourth grade U.S. history. <sighs> Here's the question. Before becoming U.S. President in 1909, what man served as civilian governor of the Philippines? Before becoming U.S. President in 1909, what man served as civilian governor of the Philippines? Okay, Ty has locked in his answer. Oh, boy. You got, you got some possibilities in your head? <laughs> no. <laughs> you got a lizard on your shoulder? I do. <laughs> She doesn't know either. Um, that's a lot of money. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to copy Ty's answer. You're gonna copy. Yeah. yeah. If you had had to pick one, if nobody had been up here, what would you have said? You know, I history was not my thing. Um, maybe. Taft, Roosevelt, I have no idea. I'm not good at presidents. The first president you said was Taft. Uh-huh. If you had said Taft, 
you would have $8,500. Are you serious? No oh joke. Oh my God. Ty. <laughs> uh. <sighs> so if Ty said Taft, we've got $8,500. Mm, Reggie, come here. Give me a hug. If he said anything else, <laughs> we're back to zero. Take a look at the board. Ty's answer is coming up right after this. <laughs> to the classroom. It's a little tense in here right now. Got a fourth grade question in play. Before becoming U.S. President in 1909, what man served as civilian governor of the Philippines? Parker DeLon decided that he would like to copy Ty's paper. And then I said, if Ty hadn't been here, what would you have said? And you said? I can't take this. I said Taft. <laughs> Taft. And I told you Taft was absolutely right. Oh. So, if Ty said Taft, we're happy. If not, we got one of those lizard eggs again. Take a look at the board. Ty said Andrew Jackson. That's okay, buddy. Sorry. That's all right, buddy. Danielle actually had the right answer. Very good job, Danielle. All right, let's try to win 500 bucks. We're down to let's first do grade it. grammar. No more cheats, no more classmates, just you and Reggie. Here's the first grade grammar question. What part of speech is the word yellow in the following sentence? The yellow flower smelled nice. What part of speech is the word yellow in the following sentence? The yellow flower smelled nice. Let's see. Well, I know flower is the noun. Describing the noun. Um, see, I'm second guessing myself again. God, this game's hard. I knew it when I had to know it. <laughs> well, what are you thinking? Uh, I'm thinking. What parts either. of speech do we know? Well, I know uh, the flower part is the noun. Okay. I'm thinking it's the pronoun, the yellow, because it's describing the noun. What do I got to lose? Let's go with pronoun. Lock it in. Danielle, what did you say? I said an adjective. Adjective. Why did you say that? An adjective describes a noun, not a pronoun. Oops. Got some smart fifth graders in my class this year. Yes, it indeed it is an adjective and not a pronoun. Oh. Did horrible. I'm not gonna let you leave empty-handed. I'm gonna give you a $250 gift card. You and Reggie Thank go you. do something fun with that. Thank you. It's been a pleasure having you. Is there anything you would like to say in parting our classroom? I am Parker Delon, and I may have the coolest lizard in the world, but I'm definitely not smarter than a fifth grader. <laughs> See you next time. Goodbye, everybody.